Hello and welcome to the JVNM Sports Fanatic channel. And so we've got some news here for the San Francisco 49ers. But before we jump right into that, you already know, make sure you guys leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And with that being said, so yes, yeah, so former Jets and Bills tight end Tyler Croft has reached an agreement on a one-year deal with the San Francisco 49ers. Tyler, he's six foot six, about 250, 255 pounds, actually from the Pennsylvania area, 29 years old, went to college at Rutgers. And so he was a third round pick in 2015 by the Cincinnati Bengals. Probably should add to that as well. He's former Cincinnati Bengals tight end as well. But yeah, those are the three teams that he spent some time with. Now he's with Cincinnati from 2015 to 2018. And then from 2019 and 2020, he spent those two years with the Buffalo Bills before last year, spending that year with the New York Jets. Throughout his career, he has started 48 games, suited up for 81 games, and he has a total of 101 catches for 1,024 yards, averaging just over 10 yards a catch per um, reception. And he has a total of 13 receiving touchdowns throughout his career. Now, his best year receiving rise in the NFL – was definitely 2017. Now, 2017, he started all 16 games. Only time in his career that he's done that. And he had four, he had 42 catches for 404 yards, and he had seven receiving touchdowns. So if you can get something like that from him, then you're definitely excited if you're the San Francisco 49ers. Obviously, they got a guy like Kittle. We all know that. But if you're San Francisco, they love having depth at that position, and it certainly makes sense in case you have to go without Kittle for some games this year. You definitely got to make sure that you have some guys to back up there because we know how in San Francisco that injury bug likes to bite, and when it bites – I mean, my goodness, it doesn't just take a bite. It just goes all in. So definitely, I understand having that position stacked there. So definitely a type of move right there that you don't think about it until during the season. You know, you're probably week six, seven, eight, nine. You know, then he has to come in there and make a play. Or either, you know, you, you have multiple tight ends. You just never know. He can get you um, that sneaky touchdown that kind of gets fantasy football owners upset because they didn't start him and stuff like that. But then he ends up getting the touchdown that they prefer to go to Kittle. You just never know. Um, but with that being said, though, you guys let me know. How do you feel about the San Francisco 49ers, guys? But with that being said, thanks again for watching. And, hey, see you guys next time.